Millions of Americans take vacations overseas every year. Who can resist doing a little shopping while you're abroad? But be careful, you may not have the same consumer protections as you have here. Yeah. Seven on your side's Michael Finney is here now with more on one couple's story. And even if you have the protections, they may not tell you. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let's say you're on a cruise ship, you go ashore and do some shopping. But what do you do if the item you bought falls apart as your ship is pulling out? That's what happened to a Bay Area couple who couldn't exactly turn the boat around. Okay, no, I'm not. Carolyn and Oscar Rivera enjoy going on cruises every year. I like to eat, I like the entertainment, I like the flexibility of going from one port to another. And they like the shopping. And that's just what they did during a Royal Caribbean cruise this past summer. It was her birthday and I hadn't gotten her anything. So I decided to go into this jewelry shop, saw they were having a sale. Hey, what the heck, I'll just buy her a ring. Oscar went to this store, Jewelers Warehouse in Antigua, and bought her this emerald ring for $300. If you're in the Caribbean and emeralds is the thing to do there. Oscar says Jewelers Warehouse had been recognized by the official shopping guide on board the cruise ship. They always tell you always to shop at certain shops that they recommend. And the ship guarantees refunds or repairs if anything should go wrong. Then we had a little bit of a problem. I looked down at my ring and one of the emeralds was gone. And then my finger turned black. He goes, well, we left the port already. You can't go back. So as the ship sailed off, Carolyn took the broken ring to the onboard shopping guide. She agreed to have it repaired and shipped to Carolyn back in the U.S. We don't even have the ring. We don't know what happened to the ring. I said, well, I gave it to this person on this day, June. But weeks after Carolyn got home and still no ring. She kept calling and emailing first the cruise line, then the onboard shipping guide, then finally the jewelry store. I'm like, okay, nobody knows anything. I now have a charge on my card. I don't have a ring. They're not calling me back. So we got a lot of run around. <laughs> In that the ship had given the guarantee Give it to the ship. Get a receipt, get a picture. Travel attorney Al Anlin writes books on travelers' rights. Your first protection on any purchase is your credit card. But he says if you're away from home, take photos of your purchases too. Here's a picture of the person who sold it to me. They're the one who said my finger wouldn't turn green. They're the ones who said this wasn't glass, it was emeralds. The Rivera's finally called seven on your side, and after we got involved, Royal Caribbean did find Carolyn Trank, had it repaired, and sent it back to her. Not only that, Royal Caribbean offered her a full refund because of the delay. The company said the repair should not have taken so long and wants to assure passengers it stands by its merchandise guarantees. Now, another tip, if all else fails, you should complain to the local tourism board. Let them apply some pressure. Remember, they do not That's want bad publicity. Yeah. They don't want you coming back sure. saying such and such an island sure. ripped me off. Nice yeah. that Royal Caribbean did the, the Absolutely. Thing. They really came through. Okay, good deal.